About a thousand years ago, the best investment you could ever have is a land because whoever has the land or whoever owns the land has the money, has the wealth. But fast forward to today, the 21st century, the best investment you could make is in attention and information. But let's rewind a bit. The rich buy assets, the poor buy expenses, and the middle class pay for liabilities that they think are assets. But the question with this statement or the problem I have with this statement is the fact that this is not about volume of money or the kind of money that you have to spare. This is about information. What do the rich know that make them buy certain things that are assets? Because you say the rich buy assets, which is the rich know the assets they should buy at the right time they should buy it. The poor only have expenses, which means the poor only thing all they have to make money for is to pay for bills, pay for fees, and pay for any other kind of expenses. But the middle class buy liabilities that they think are assets. So what do the middle class think they know that make them go ahead to buy liabilities that they think are assets? And the answer quickly is arrogance and ignorance. Because they are arrogant and more all ignorant, they go ahead to buy things that they think are assets but actually are not assets. So the only thing that separates these three kinds of people is information. What makes the rich buy assets, what makes the poor things toward expenses, and what makes the middle man end up buying liabilities. Now, your ability to solve problems is what will generate money or what will make money for you. Your earning capacity is going to be the thing that generates wealth. No, there are two different things. Now, going to school and being a lawyer or being whatever is about getting a skill, something that can make you valuable. But then, your ability to increase the volume of money that you make over time is what's going to make you wealth. And so, the shorter the time you can increase the amount of money you make, the faster you're going to be wealthy in your short or long lifespan. So, the question is, what should you invest in? Yourself. You are the best investment. Now, hang on a bit. What should you invest in? Obviously, courses, mentorship, coaches, seminars, workshop. But if you are going to invest in these things, how do you invest in the right courses, the right coaching, the right seminars, the right mentorships? Now, for you to do this, you want to go to the person who's providing the most information for free. Now, I'm going to be listing my personal five mentors and coaches that you can watch or listen to to actually increase your business, increase your entrepreneurship skill, and increase your finance in general. But before we do that, I need you to understand something. Skills stacks up exponentially. So now take example, you understand video creation. The next thing typically that you want to learn is how social media works. What kind of content fly on YouTube? What kind of content fly on Instagram? What kind of content work for TikTok and so on and so forth? Basically how the social media environment works. Then you want to understand messaging because obviously you get DMs, how to reply to DMs, how to talk to customers. And then the next part is copywriting. How to basically write the best copies that will make sales convert because the social media environment is another big marketplace. Then the next thing you want to do is branded, management, operations, and then leadership. And you can see this is all stacked up from the ground rules of video creation. And so for you to increase your skills, initially, not just go out there and call yourself a video editor or a brand manager or an operation or leader or so on and so forth. You need to actually grow these skills with the right information and knowing what to do at each stage of the skill sets. Now, these are my personal top five most watched YouTube channels. Number one calls it Abusi Tembo Kwayu. Now, I don't know if I pronounce it well, but this is a South African entrepreneur and businessman that teaches on how to grow your business, how to grow as an entrepreneur, obviously, highlighting the difference between a business owner, a job, and this is all you can learn entrepreneurship firsthand from. You from his YouTube channel, from his content on Instagram, TikTok. But this is someone you want to check out most importantly here on YouTube. The second person on this list is Alex Umozi. Now, this is obviously you must have heard of someone if you're one who's passionate about making money online, no matter whatever your business is, because this is a businessman that teaches practical knowledge on how to actually grow businesses, either scaling a business, starting a business, or even wanting to sell your business in the long run. Third person on this list is Think Media. Now, this Think Media is basically for my social media fan bots, people that are thinking you want to go into content creation or you want to know how to increase your content creation skills. Basically, with the right tools, the right knowledge and the right skill set, basically. Now, number four on this is Mr. Beast. Now, Mr. Beast is my personal favorite, not because of the entertainment, even though his page or his videos are basically entertainment, but basically because of the workaholic mentality that he has towards his career. If you want to gain more from Mr. Beast, I would advise you to go out and check Mr. Beast interviews and see about his mindset because what we are going after here is the mindset. Like I said, check out Mr. Beast interview videos, which I'll be leaving some of the links in the description or highlighting some of the videos on the screen. Now, lastly is Miles Monroe. Learning on leadership, character, and how to manage yourself. The quality of the management of yourself is what is going to ensure the quality of the management 
of your business. Yeah, this is very, very important. And I need to understand this. So now, what are we talking about here in essence? So we're talking about how you should develop yourselves, listen to these people to be able to grow your business and also grow your mindset in order to understand what you should invest in. But then you need to read certain kinds of books. Now, there are a lot of books and thousands of books out there that deals on business development, build development of your mind and so on and so forth. But there are three major ones that I'm going to recommend amongst a couple of them that I've read myself. All right, number one on this list is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And this is very, 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 very amazing because it reconfigures your mindset. It gives you or shapes the kind of mindset that you need to have in order to delve into the world of business, entrepreneurship, and money making as it is. Now, secondly, The Power of Character in Leadership by Miles Munro. Yeah, especially if you're looking to see your business grow and come into a large scale where you would need other helping hands. Um, in your business and also how to interact with humans. The last book on this list is Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone. Oh my God, this is so amazing. This is this teaches you on how to sell ideas and sell almost anything. Now, when I say sell ideas, it's not just about selling products or services, but the ability to sell the idea behind that product, push ideas to people in your family, uh, relatives, in business, and so on and so forth. Basically, the, the, the art of selling ideas, just like it says, sell or be sold, and yeah, I'm not going to talk much about this because I've done this in previous videos, but I would like you to check out these three major books and let me know what you think about it. All right. So that's basically it on this videos. Do well to do everything that I've mentioned in this video. Listen to these guys daily, read these books, study these books and watch how your mindset shifts from being that of a poor man or even the middle class to that rich man that knows what to invest in, the right mindset in order to grow themselves, grow their business and become the right entrepreneur that you want to be.